Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek, and today I have something just kind of fun to share with you guys that uh, I enjoy quite a bit. I like these old Whitman albums. This is the old commemorative type set, and uh, lo and behold, this one is empty. But uh, I'm showing you this so I can show you something else, which is, of course, uh, some albums that actually have some coins in them. Now, they are things that most of you probably don't collect. But what I what I find most fascinating is this uh, just to get these albums in general, uh, the Great Britain type collection of the 20th century minor coin set, and so just like the U.S. type type sets, they would have a slot for each different type of coin produced. Of course, you've got here we go with starting with Edward the Seven to George the V. <laughs> just oh yeah. So I don't know why I think George the V is funny um, instead of that, but so but you'll have uh, the different different types that were created over the different issues, the different years, and let me see here. So we've got uh, George the sixth from thirty seven to forty eight, George the seventh forty nine to uh, George the sixth to forty nine to fifty two versions. Here comes Elizabeth in 53, and then Elizabeth 54 on with those cool farthings. And then you go from the farthing, of course, to the half penny. And uh, you'll see some of the issues didn't last that long. They had very short, short-lived versions. You can see the different bust types here on the George the Fifths from the larger bust to the smaller bust. George the Sixth, um, you know, you've got the two different issues there. Elizabeth starting and then Elizabeth continuing. And what's cool is you got to realize, of course, you're saying, well, you know, obviously with Elizabeth just passing away, how many different Elizabeths are there? You know, the portraits and whatnot. Well, you know, this book was copyright 1961 in our favorite little uh, Racine, Wisconsin. And um, so we don't have all these versions of Elizabeth that we have today. Then, of course, they move on to the penny, which is, you know, for those of you who aren't as aware, is about the same size as you know, a little bit, little close to the size of a U.S. half dollar. Um, moving through these guys here, and of course, the colonial issues that they had at the time had a lot of these designs on them, but then they had a different, a different front. Uh, now, what's interesting, of course, is for those of you who are paying attention here, uh, this Edward the Seventh coin doesn't look at all like Edward, uh, whether the Seventh or, or otherwise. Uh, of course, it appears to be Queen. Let me see here, Elizabeth. Let me take a closer look at Queen here and see if we can close up on that for you guys. And I said Elizabeth, didn't I? It, it, Victoria. No, oh, I said Elizabeth. I'm just stuck on the Elizabethan age. Too many, too many period novels for me. And uh, you know the different designs here, and then the back of these have uh, the different three pence design, which I always like the three pence. The silver ones are especially cool, and then we're going to move over to uh, some of these big oct octagonal. How many sides do these guys have? Twelve sides. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think they're twelve sided. They like the twelve sided Dungeons and Dragons dice here. Um, and so you have the different sides. Then you move on to this to the sixpence, which is interesting because where's my groat? Is it a four pence a groat? When did they stop making those? So uh, they made a four pence back in the day, but uh, if you want to sing a song of six pence, that's what these coins look like, and they've got some really cool designs to them. And then what's really cool is on the back page of this, they have rooms for what are known as the Mondi sets. And so those were really neat little issued sets. They were um, not for circulation, really, although you see the coins in circulation, they were kind of like mint sets. See, they have a spot for the four pence in here. That's the groat, the four pence. But uh, I also have this Australian type set, with bronze and decimal coins, uh, also the old Whitman. Um, this one is copyright 1964, and we're gonna have some of the different coinage from Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi! This is George the five, six, six point two. Of course, the Australian versions. You know, you look at the the head side. Of course, the coin looks the same, but then we get the kangaroo on the back, which is just awesome. Some of my favorite designs. Uh, are these Australian designs with the kangaroo and uh, what better than to have a blue case here for bluey and then you've got uh oh 
then then you've got the area where I should have done my research because I forgot all the different little marsupials that are in the back of these, uh, including um, this guy. This is actually the platypus, not the hedgehog. Am I remembering that wrong? Let's see the little duck bill. I think that's actually the no, no, no. That's that is something completely different. It's neither a platypus nor a hedgehog. I did a, I think I actually did a video on that once. I can't even remember. There's the platypus. That's how you know God has a sense of humor. And of course, the 50 cent piece, 20 cent piece. So these are some of my favorite coins just because of all the little critters on them. This is just a two page album. That's all you've got in this uh, Australian type set. And uh, just kind of fun. And uh, the albums are super cool. And you know, it'd be kind of fun to, you know, if you collect albums, this is just kind of something that's fun to look at and see. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the I'll button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.